I'm Madam Kong. Today we are going to learn about percentage yield. Are you ready? Let's start. What is your score for today chemistry exam? So the maximum score is 100%. So in chemistry, we also learn about the percentage as well. Okay, so let's check what is percentage yield. What is the definition of percentage yield? Percentage yield is the ratio of the actual yield which obtained from experiment to the theoretical yield which obtained from stoichiometry calculation. So then we need to times multiply by 100%. This is the formula for percentage yield equal to actual yield over theoretical yield time 100%. Let's try question 1. A student react benzene with bromine as to prepare bromobenzene. So based on this question, the equation is not given. So we must know how to write the equation. From here we know is C6H5 plus Br2 produce C6H5Br. Okay, then what is the theoretical yield of bromobenzene in this reaction? So the question one about theoretical yield. When 30 grams of benzene react with 65 grams of bromine, mass of this reactant and this reactant is given, meaning that the next step after equation is we need to calculate the number of moles for both reactants. So what was the percentage yield if the actual yield of the bromobenzene was 56.7 gram? Okay, so first part, we need to calculate the theoretical yield. And then the actual yield is given. So the second question is, we need to calculate the percentage yield. So as I explained just now, step one, we need to write the equation. Step two, we need to calculate the number of moles for both reactants. So let's check. Yeah. So step one equation. Make sure that the equation is balanced. Step 2, calculate the number of moles for both reactants. Okay, since this one not the final answer yet, four decimal places, always must remember four decimal places with the unit no. And then third step, we need to compare. Okay, by using stoichiometry equation to determine which one is the limiting reactant. So based on here, 1 mole of benzene equivalent to 1 mole of bromine. So 0 0.3846 mole of benzene equivalent to 0 0.3846 mole of bromine. So based on the number of mole given is 0 0.4068 mole. Needed is 0 0.3846 mole. So it's more than. Meaning that bromo is excess reactant. Automatically, benzene is the limiting reactant. Next, the question asks about okay, the mass of bromobenzene because we need to find the theoretical yield of this question. So we compare the limiting reactant with the bromobenzene. So, okay, this step should be no problem. So, after we compare, we notice that the mole of bromobenzene is 0.3846 mole. So we need to times molar mass in order to get the mass of bromobenzene. So now we continue with the formula of percentage yield and then substitute the value. Actual yield is 56.7 gram given by the question. And then 60.34 gram is the theoretical yield which we calculated over here times 100%. So we get 93.97% of percentage yield of bromobenzene. Okay, next question 2. Sodium chloride was formed when 0.0345 mole of chlorine gas reacted completely with sodium according to the equation below. So this question is more simple compared to just because we no need to determine the limiting reactant because the keywords reacted completely. Okay, chlorine with sodium. So chlorine is the limiting reactant because it reacted completely. Okay, and then the equation is given, so you no need to write out the equation by yourself. But please double check, is it the equation balanced? Yes, this is a balanced equation. So next check, what is the question asked about? The question asked about percentage yield. 
if 3.75 gram of sodium chloride is produced in this experiment. So this is the actual yield. Meaning that we need to use the stoichiometry method to determine the, uh, the theoretical yield of sodium chloride. So let's check the answer. Okay, equation is the step one given. Now we compare one mole of chlorine. We must compare with chlorine because chlorine is the limiting reactor. Eh? Equivalent to two mole of sodium chloride. So 0 0.0345 mole chlorine. Okay, stoichiometry times two divided by one. Cancel, cancel. So that mole is 0 0.069 mole sodium chloride. Okay, since we need to find the theoretical mass, we need to times the molar mass of sodium chloride and then we get the mass. So now this is the theoretical mass of sodium chloride. Actual is 3.75, so divided by the theoretical, so times 100%, you get 92.9%. So that's all for today. Don't forget to follow my IG at Chemicom SL. Subscribe, like and share my YouTube channel, Chemicom SL. And follow my Facebook, Chemicom Shitli. you all learn something. Thank you.